So um, how did you react when you learned you were a Rhodes Scholar? Uh, where were you and how did you find out? So I was on the football field. I was in the apartment of the Rhodes Selection Committee. I found out through a text message. They gather all the finalists in a room and then I just I looked at it with this like blank stare. I just say who uh, are the Rhodes Scholars elect for the year. And I looked at my fiance and she said, oh my god. I called my mom. So I just told our captain and you know we started jumping up and down and the whole team was just going crazy. All right. Um, what was or is the most exciting class you've taken at Harvard? That's tough. I mean, they're all exciting in different ways. Physics 15A was probably the most exciting. The physics course I'm taking right now I really liked. It was just like an uphill struggle the whole time and, and learning a lot and more and was fantastic. Mostly because I don't understand anything that's going on. And then, you know, to finish it off with a, a good grade. Quantum field theory. I think it was like the most rewarding, just complete package class that I've taken. When do you usually wake up in the morning and when do you usually get to bed? Depends. If we have lift, uh, I wake up around 6. No, I don't wake up in the morning. I wake up in the afternoon. Because <laughs> you know, I have to go down and run some experiments before class. Uh, it depends, like, if I have class. And I get to bed, um, you know, probably 10 or 11. And I'll usually go to bed at 4 or 5. Um, what was your craziest night at Harvard? My craziest night at Harvard. What define crazy? I'm blanking out a little on this one. Uh, housing day. Yeah, or, you know, river run. Probably my last night before, I, I took my junior spring semester off. Yeah, all that, that was probably the craziest night. The night before I flew to San Francisco was pretty wild. Um, do you have any pet peeves? Pet peeves? Uh, just that over-ambitious section, section guy. Man mayonnaise. But I'm occasionally that guy. <laughs> it's just disgusting. <laughs> um, what are you most looking forward to about living in England? The, uh, the ability to travel all over. I mean, it's it's right in the center. Of, you know, you can go anywhere. You can go to Norway, you can go to Italy. I think that's going to be exciting. And, and also just living with the other scholars and getting to know what their lives have been like and what, you know, what experiences they bring. That's going to be awesome too. Uh, the royal wedding. 